Hey guys, welcome to the WNL World Championship Finals. These are the general rules. First, there'll be a course demonstration at the beginning of the first wave for each division. There will also be a living document with these rules listed on the website with the link in the description below. First, we would ask you to chalk up before in the chalk zone designated for each athlete before getting onto the starting platform. You can have chalk provided for you by your coach while on the course. This is for courtesy of other athletes. Resets will be allowed on the platforms for stages one and two. However, they will not be allowed on stage three. Um, for the trusses, trusses will be considered incidental contact. However, hands only are allowed on the truss and you cannot grab over the top. Uh, all platforms must be touched. There are no skippable platforms. Um, and anything that we mention on the obstacle will be considered in play. If we do not mention it, you can assume that it is out of play. Hey guys, this is gonna be the course rules video for the Mature Kids Female Stage 3. For Stage 3, you are not allowed to reset on any of the platforms after you start the obstacle. You will not have an overall time limit, but you will have a rest timer, okay, which will let you know before your runs. Also, when you guys are starting, you'll be in the start position up here. You guys will be able to pay attention to the lights, and that'll be your cue to start your course. Obstacle one will be first ascent. You guys will be starting on the platform here. Hands and feet are allowed on the bottom of the black board as well as the top of the board. For the obstacle itself, the green holds, hands and feet are allowed. You have a trapeze bar underneath the rig here, a second trapeze bar, and this obstacle ends when you touch the first clock. Obstacle two will be the clock hands. You can grab any of the blue portion of the clocks. You have three of them, and your second obstacle is finished once you reach this platform here. I did. I said hands on the back, bottom. Clear. And clear. Obstacle three, this is called storm in the gate. Hands are allowed on the rope. On all ropes on stage three, they are hands only. So hands are allowed on the rope as well as the cliffs on the side of the board here. Feet are allowed on the swinging doors. You'll have a trapeze bar after the first set of doors here. Another swinging cliff board as well as a second set of doors and you will be dismounting to the platform here. And clear. Obstacle four, we have the birdhouses. Hands only are allowed on the blue pegs that are already set into the, into the birdhouses. This obstacle is cleared once you touch the first cliffhanger ledge. Obstacle five, Brad's Corner. You guys have any of the blue cliffs here, coming around here, here, and you'll be dismounting to this platform here. Clear. And clear. Obstacle six, we have the I-beam. Hands are allowed on any of the blue as well as feet. We are traversing down. You also have hands allowed on two holds here. And then hands and feet, uh, hands and feet are allowed on the holds as well. And hands and feet are allowed on this board here. And you are dismounting to the pad straight ahead. Yeah. 
and clear. Hands over the top of the I-beam are out of play. Obstacle seven will be hands only. It is the vertical limit burst. Again, hands only on the rope. You have the ledge on the back in which we allow the hands. The limit holds here, as well as another ledge on the back of this one to get to this platform here. and clear. Obstacle eight, final obstacle. You hands only will be allowed on the trees, uh, trapeze bar as well as the flying bar here, which you can hop through the three sets of cradles to get to your dismount here. This is a touch and go platform, so you must make contact with it still. You cannot overshoot it, but if you hit the platform and then go forward, you can then come back and hit the buzzer. It is the athlete's responsibility to engage the buzzer. And that is the end of stage three.